What's up, my lovely supporters? How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. So today I will be making... Oh, can y'all see? Oh, I just never noticed that. And today I will be cooking tacos. Mind y'all, I have been reading the... Damn, can y'all really see that though? I might have to change. I, I feel like y'all can see that way. Let me do this. do this Curly girl I had a couple of girls on me okay so I, I've been reading my comments and I've been seeing a lot of people saying that I should change up the content um I should stop doing cooking videos my cooking videos are getting boring da, 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 da. guys this is something that I love to do and I love to share it with you guys so like um I don't know like I just want y'all to enjoy the cooking videos and learn from them and yeah that's basically it there's something that i do mostly every day i love to cook it's like um my relaxing it's fun and it's tasty so this is something i love to do and i love to share with you guys so i would appreciate it if y'all would just support me no so yeah um the question is am i going to like switch up the content i am like Sometimes I will switch up the content every now and then, but for now, this is something that I'm doing every day. So why not share it with you guys, right? <clears throat> like it's, it's it's something that I'm constantly doing, you know. Um, I'm not constantly doing like pranks. Um, I will start doing vlogs for y'all, like when I go in the grocery store, and um, just other stuff that I do. I really have. So, it's not really nothing to really record for real when it comes down to me. Damn, did this throw out? I don't think my hamburger meat threw out. But we still gonna put it on top of the um, oven just put it in. I'm doing shrimp tacos. Um, I'm doing the hamburger taco, like the hamburger tacos too, cause I like to do both. Um, I like to do both or whatever. Let's see if I can. Okay. I just feel as the be full enough, so I I just do both, you know. I'm gonna really wait till that kind of like throw out. Let me wash my hands first. So like I was saying, we're gonna let this throw out. I'm gonna put the lid on top. I'm gonna put the lid on top of this and let these throw out. And then we're gonna start on shrimp. That's the easiest to cook. I'm gonna put that on. I'm let it simmer like that. And then I'm gonna season it, of course. And then I'm gonna just show y'all how I make my shrimp and hamburger meat taco. I'm gonna say burrito. Cause for the shrimp, I got these small ones right here. I'm pretty sure y'all know how to make shrimp taco and burrito. But I got this little small one for the little shrimp one and I got the bigger one for the hamburger meat one. For like a burrito. But I'm gonna come back to y'all and I'm gonna show y'all the updates. Hey y'all, I told y'all that um, I went ahead and put my hamburger meat in the uh, on the stove before it got done deep defrosting. I don't know if y'all can see it or whatnot, but it's perfectly fine. You just gotta chop it up really, really good. Can y'all see? Oh, I might just do the regular video instead of that other little thing that I be trying to do to focus. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see it. I think y'all can. But it's perfectly fine. Just chop it up like that in pieces. Once it like heat up, and it's gonna start like, you know, don't put it in there while it's froze, bro. Give it some time to actually defrost. But mine's wasn't done. And I had it, I had it, I had it out. I think I had it out all day. 
don't know. I can't remember when I actually took it out. But now that I got these little smaller pieces and they're not so big and chunked up, I'm finna start seasoning them. Seasoning them. Um, I'm trying to debate. I'm trying to debate. I'm gonna do this. First, start off with this the taco seasoning, of course. Dang it. Open it up. It's supposed to be paper. Why is it not opening up? I don't know, y'all. My wrist is still kind of messed up, so. Ugh. I can't do a lot of stuff still, but it's it's better than what it was. But you know, it's still messed up. I saw somebody ask me about that in the comments too, about my wrist. It's um, it's still like um, tender, whatever. But honestly, it feels much better than it used to. I think that's enough taco seasoning. My boyfriend like to have a lot in there, but uh-uh, because I'm finna season this too, so I be telling him no. You can't do it like that. Get out, see, see, see. Okay. Tony's. We're gonna put some Tony's in there. Some pap paprika. Potter, um, some garlic powder, some black pepper, and all purpose. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a taste test once it's done cooking and see if I need to add any more seasonings. But for right now, that's all I'm gonna add. But if you're a cooker, you know sometimes you have to add more. More of that. Then on we have our shrimp. I'm not even trying to move the little thing, the little camera thing too much. Let me put it right here. This is dangerous, y'all. Don't try this at home. But I want y'all to be able to see what I'm seasoning my shrimp with. Um, I'm using complete. Some Tony's. And some lemon pepper. Garlic and onion powder too. All right, mix those up. Look at that. It has to cover. It has to be covered every shrimp. It has to be covered in the top. If not, I don't know. Alright, so let's go ahead and put it on the oven. We gotta turn this down because we're gonna be like Alright. Okay, so guys, right here is where I'm going to be sauteing my vegetables. 
um, I got some mushroom. Yes, I wash off every product from the, I get from the store. We got mushroom. Mushroom and onion. So those are our sauteed vegetables. So now what I'm gonna do is dip the bread in the juice. Dip the bread in this juice, this taco juice. Yeah, I like my vegetables extra, extra sauteed. And then, we're gonna put it right here. I saw this on TikTok, so if I do it wrong, oh well, I'm just being a copycat. Forgetting about stuff so fast. Flip it like that. Yeah, because it needs some more seasoning a little bit. to be set down then it cook for real. Guys, for my shrimp taco, I'm going to be putting these right here. Of course the shrimp. The shrimp are so fresh. Mmm. So good. First, I'm gonna add the lettuce. The shrimp, I'm gonna add like a couple. 
mushrooms, like three. Tomatoes. I'm going to put some onions on here, y'all. I don't know about the mushrooms, but I don't know. Mush mushrooms are delicious. So we're going to add that to it. Some special sauce on the side. Some chipotle sauce. I hope it's good. That was not cute. And some hot peppers. I really wanted the shrimp to be seen. That's how it looks. I'm going to show y'all a picture. I'm going to do a better picture for y'all. And I'm going to do the same thing to the next one. This. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Good. I got the wrong lettuce though. I'm gonna tell y'all lettuce next time I cook this again. Mm, 
Okay. Mm. Oh, good. Quick and easy. So, guys, oh, that was my recipe over my taco season. I mean, damn, I'm talking about taco season. My soft shrimp tacos, if that's what you want to call it. I had to get in something comfortable, y'all. It's late. Anyways, that was my recipe. You guys should try this. I didn't put too much on my shrimp tacos, but if y'all want to, y'all can. I just wanted to do it like this. Um, you can add whatever you want to add. Like, I just did this. You feel me? You can add the hamburger meat and everything with it. But I keep it cute and classy. I'm a classy type of bitch. We don't do a lot. We don't gotta do too much. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. This is that good. That's like, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Bye. <laughs> Love y'all.